Hi everyone, welcome to Tammy's Creative Cards and Crafts. I'm Tammy and I have missed everyone. I have been gone a few days. Um, the heat has been, well, hot. And um, I've had a, a little bit of flare up with my MS and stuff, but I'm back on track. Uh, while I've been away, I've been doing some sewing and um, a little bit of crafting, and but mostly sewing. And uh, yeah, so um, I've been. This these are for some orders, but uh, they are pretty adorable. And uh, somebody that has ordered them, they will know who they're for when they see them. But uh, just look how adorable these bowl cozies turned out to be look how beautiful and cute these cat bowl cozies are and then I have the Volkswagen ones look how precious these are with the pink inside are they not sweet and then the uh, cat ones have the turquoise inside and then so there's some of the pink like that and then I made uh, the bigger sizes and they're the Volkswagen the little bugs are they not beautiful with the pink inside I just love that hot pink it's so pretty and that pattern is just gorgeous and I just hope that the person that uh, ordered these just loves them as much as I do and just look at this beautiful adorable uh, pattern isn't that precious with the turquoise inside I mean there's no more beautiful color than that and um, I just think they turned out perfect and the person that ordered them, she knows who she is. So those are all done, my friend. And I'm um, just waiting uh, to get the wreaths done. And I will send your order on your way. Uh, the wreaths right now, I will show. These are the wreaths for anybody that doesn't know. I'm taking I'm still taking orders on them only because I am still waiting for the frames so anybody that's interested in the in the wreath um, there's three different ways that you can order it um, I will give do the kit for you now the kit is just the paper kit including there's approximately between 150 and 180 of these little tiny uh, let's see if I can find one I can't find one right here but all these little uh, twigs here are all individually and there's three different colors so those are there's approximately 150 or 180 uh, all together um, depend on how they're glued in but those ones are I, I believe there's about 180 on this one here and then the poinsettia um, is embossed as well and uh, so is the leaves if you can see there and also uh, there's the baby's breath and the leaves there. Now you can have a choice of whether you'd like to have this off color, uh, like the cream colored leaf or a poinsettia, or you can have a red poinsettia. You can have whatever color poinsettia you would like and whatever color ribbon you would like. So if you would like a pure white poinsettia, you can have that. You can have a navy uh, ribbon with it. You can have a red poinsettia with um, gold ribbon. A lot of people have been ordering that one. So the first uh, kit is just the paper 
all the I will cut out all the uh, twigs, all the paper the, for the poinsettia embossed. Uh, it'll all be embossed. All the pieces, even the little branches here, everything, the ribbon, and I forgot to mention, it lights up. So you will also uh, get the light kit. All that, including the light kit, is $20. And you have to put it together and you have to get your own frame. We are going to do a tutorial uh, for a video and you have to, and we'll all do it together. The second one is $30, but I will send you the frame and, it's, and still you're going to put it together and do it yourself. Okay, so it'll include all the kit and the frame, but you're going to put it together. The third option is I do all the work, put it together, includes everything of course, and send it to you as a finished item. Um, and uh, that's $40. And uh, so that's a uh, as a finished item. So I have been uh, doing a lot of kits. So if you're interested, you can still email me on this. And um, yeah, there also is a Halloween kit um, that you can order. And that is um, just the paper kit. The frame is not included because it's a big 11 by 13 frame. But I will do all the pieces for you, and that's twenty dollars, and um, those will be going out um, in August, so we can do the tutorial and um, have those, so you can have them ready for uh, Halloween. But that one's really cute too. You can just go back to the video to view that one um, if you'd like to order that one, and you can send the money by PayPal um, if you'd like to do that. And it's all U.S. So um, forty dollars U.S. or thirty dollars U.S., twenty dollars U.S., whatever it is. Okay. So that is the wreath kit, which has been very popular. So the other, th uh, just some catch up on uh, catching up on uh, what's been going on, other than. I uh, missed everybody and every, uh, a few people have been messaging me and telling me that they miss me and I miss you guys too. And thank you so much for thinking of me and and uh, it's wonderful to know that I'm in people's thoughts. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So I have been working on a few cards and I thought I'm, I might show you um, a few cards that I made. This is my this is my box o cards <laughs> that I keep. Um, I try to keep st stocked up at all times um, because people are constantly coming to me and saying, "Do you have a card for a birthday? Do you have a card for an anniversary? Uh, do you have a card I can?" use for a funeral or so I have many cards in here but this is not nearly all that I need um, this is really only a quarter of what I normally have um, and I have craft shows coming up and so I need to get my budding gear and get some Christmas ones done and yeah so um, the uh, craft fairs are kind of up in the air right now. One has all already canceled uh, because of the COVID, but um, I'm hoping that the other ones don't. Um, but we'll see what happens. You can only do what you can, and that's it. Go with the flow. So one of the cards that I did do is kind of cute, is this cute little one here. Um, the stamp set is by Stampin' Up. You know, a lot of people know that I'm not a Stampin' Up demonstrator. I just love 
stamping up I also go to uh, a class once a w once a month and um, I usually order uh, something out of the catalog so that gives me a good stock of stamping up products and I do love their products so so this is a cute little card it says be as bold as your lipstick and uh, I cut this nice little frame here and put some little gems and I cut this lipstick out here and I did put the uh, Wink Estella on the tip I'm not sure if you can see the um, the shine to it or not there it's a good good look there and I put um, some two different types of ribbon the ri uh, red and then this white and then it's all embossed uh, going around here and then the embossed frame so and then on the inside it says birthday wishes um, I often think about how amazing you are today you get it in writing so that was really cute and then of course it has uh, you know my CEO is uh, sign off there and then I did the this one here uh, life is short by the shoes and this one has the wink of Stella on the shoes there which makes them kind of really cute and um, shiny and I put some little flat back gems I did the stitched oval going around backed with the coordinating color and I did this embossing folder and it kind of looks like a um, quilted, like a, almost like a, like quilting fabric. And uh, yeah, back this up with a coordinating color. Now the trick is with this here, this white piece here is the punch. And if you don't know this, some, most of you do, but it's just a little uh, tip and trick. If you have this little punch that makes this white piece and then you see, oh, well, does she have um, a longer one that makes that blue piece that makes it so it's longer on the outside? No, there, how you get that is you cut one out the same as the white, but then what you do is you cut the blue one down in the middle and then you just glue it out farther on each side. So it looks like it's long, but it's not. It's actually, if you looked on the back, there's a piece missing in the middle because you brought it out on each side. So it's just a little tip. And uh, if see if I hold it um, up like that, you can see, you can kind of see there where the blue is not in the middle. Do you see that? So it's a neat little trick of how you can uh, bring it out on each side by just using one punch. Really neat. So that is uh, on the outside. And then on the inside, it says, happy birthday. Uh, we've been friends for so long. I can't remember which one of us is the bad influence. So cute. And then this one I thought was really cute. It says, no one will ever be in, in, as entertained by us as us. How did I get so lucky to have a friend like you? And I thought that one was really cute. It has the two little ladies there. So I just uh, colored those up and uh, popped that up with the little flat back pearls and uh, put the little design in each corner. It's very clean and simple, but very cute. And I just put from your favorite friend on the inside and stamp my stamp in the back. And I thought this one was really cute. This one is with the daisy die. And I cut out two of the daisies and one of the smaller ones and I layered them up with the dimensionals and you can see how it made that pop on the card 
I stamp the stamp the stem and the leaves and then I just put you are so loved and then I cut out this little cute little squirrel and colored him up with the little daisy there and um, colored the little leaf in that and it says happy birthday to you on the inside so those are just four little cute cards that I've done up to add to my card stash and um, I hope that everybody is doing well wherever they are I know that I have been praying for certain people um, I'm sending major prayers to my sweet friend Tammy from Green Tea Design Co. Uh, of course Sheila always praying for her um, my friend Deanna my friend Bonnie and um, just anybody else that needs a prayer always going out to them um, and be kind to everyone because this is the time right now that everyone needs your kindness so my next little thing that I wanted to catch up on is some random acts of kindness and um, it's been a few weeks since I read some so I'm I have three here that I want to read and uh, for I have some new subscribers um, I'm up to 480 now so really close to 500 and we're gonna have a giveaway at 500 and I'm gonna make it really special when we get there so only 20 to go so if you know somebody that's not a subscriber or if you're watching and you're not a subscriber please subscribe and um, hit the like button select all and you'll be notified of my next video and um, you know share with a friend and yeah let's get to 500 and okay so random acts of kindness uh, please you have to scroll down quite a few videos I'm almost at 150 videos which is not bad considering I didn't start my YouTube channel until the end of January so that's pretty good almost 150 videos so uh, yes random acts of kindness every day scroll down uh, quite a bit but it, you have to go to random acts of kindness every day and what you do is you put in there a comment of a kindness that you've done for somebody else or maybe a pay it for it that somebody's done for you and now that you're going to pass it on and do something nice for somebody else <clears throat> excuse me and um, I mean once you do that it just keeps going and going and I mean I have three pages of people who have done random acts of kindness and I never thought when I started this that it was ever gonna go like this but it's just amazing the stories are just phenomenal and I'm just so overwhelmed and proud of each and every one of these people wonderful wonderful people that do these wonderful things all the time so keep it up and we're gonna have another giveaway uh, for this uh, last group very very soon so with oh dragging it on any longer um, the one I'm going to read first is Crafty Sue 519 who sh who used to be Susan Nako or Suzanne Nako and so now she's Crafty Sue 519 and she writes sometimes a random act of kindness given to you turns into a random act of kindness uh, you do for someone else when the virus being so bad in, here in Florida and things moving backward instead of forward 
It's been a scary time. This crafting community is fantastic and I received a random act of kindness in the mail last week sent by Alicia's Crafty Hoplop of COVID items donated by ladies in the community. Some of these, some of the items were cloth masks, but they were too small for Grumpy and I when we drove to my son's house to give them to my grandsons. I also gave another mask I had to my grand to my daughter-in-law since she has to work and I didn't have enough masks. Funny thing was, when I got there, my daughter-in-law literally was on her iPad looking for masks for the boys. May not sound like much, but if the masks sent to me weren't too small, I couldn't have given them to my grandsons who were in desperate need of them who, uh, with starting school next month. The random act of kindness from our community was a complete surprise and a very needed and welcome one, and I was thrilled that I could share it with my family. So it just goes to show you how that circle of giving and kindness just went around like that. So that is absolutely fantastic that... Um, Alicia's Crafty Hop Lop uh, ladies in her community donated those masks and she passed them on to um, Crafty Sue 519 and then she passed them on to her family and now everybody has masks. So that is absolutely fantastic. And uh, thank you so much um, Crafty Sue. 519 uh, or Suzanne for sharing that fantastic um, random act of kindness and please go to her channel and subscribe uh, to her and uh, show her some love and uh, you will be entered in the draw. So the next um, random act of kindness is The Butterfly Crafter Dana Mankey. On Wednesday, I was walking down the hallway to put my trash down the garbage disposal. All of a sudden, the medical alarm went off. It scared me because it was so loud. It just happened to be the apartment across the garbage disposal room. So I banged on the door. I banged on her door. She didn't answer, so I checked to see if her door was unlocked and it was unlocked. I went in and seen that she was laying on the floor between the bathroom and the bedroom where she had fallen and she was able to pull the alarm for help. I asked her what happened and she said she had got lightheaded and dizzy. Well, she wanted me to help her up and I said no and dialed 911. To get help, there are uh, there as quickly as she could. Uh, she is in the hospital from what her granddaughter told me. They are not sure what was wrong as of yet. We have a buddy system in place here where I live if the medical alarm goes off and you hear it. Go out and walk up and down the hallway with your ears covered because it's so loud and see who is in need of help. If the person's light is flashing above the door, then you can check on them if the door is unlocked. If it's not, just call 911 and let them know that you are unable to gain access to the person's apartment. The fire department has a key to gain access to the apartments. Well, Dana, that was very, very, very kind of you to help that lady that fell because had you not gone in there, um, and called 911 when you did, who knows what might have happened. There's no way of telling. So thank you so much for your random act of kindness. That was very, very kind of you to do that. And um, I love the idea of the firefighters gaining access. You know that I love that. And... Uh, you know, I already mentioned that um, in my last video that 
I am now aware of being put on a list <laughs> and I uh, know that in case of emergency there's a list downstairs in my building and the firefighters know directly where I will be and hopefully there isn't an emergency but I know that I'm on the list and I'll be waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so please go and show um, the butterfly crafter, Dana Mankey, some love. And um, if you're not subscribed to her, please subscribe. And uh, Dana, you are on the in the giveaway. So uh, good luck. And thank you so much for your random act of kindness. And our last person is Brenda Cole. And she writes, Hi Tammy, just a little random act of kindness I did for my neighbor. While I was cutting my lawn, I surprised her by cutting hers as well. It's been so hot outside. I wanted to help her out because she has a push. She has to push her lawn. She was so happy she returned the kindness by sending over a goodie bag of treats. That is so awesome. And um, even though, uh, you know, you did that, which I know was very, very hard work in this heat. And that was wonderful, random act of kindness. She tried to return and do a random act of kindness for you by giving you a little bag of treats. So that was fantastic of her trying to show her appreciation. So... That's awesome. There's so many kind people out there that um, people forget that you only have to do a small thing. Um, just smile at somebody. Um, I see people all the time and they're just walking down with their head down or they walk by people and sometimes all it does, all it takes is just to smile at somebody or say hi to somebody. Nine times out of ten, they'll smile at you and and say hi back. You might get the odd person that will just say nothing or give you a grumpy look, but that's okay. Um, the other nine is the ones that you might have made a difference in their day. So... That's that's what matters. So that, uh, Brenda, thank you so much for that random act of kindness that you've done for your neighbor and helped her out with her lawn. And um, go to Brenda Cole's um, channel and subscribe to her. And um, somebody else that asked me to help them out, they just randomly came on and asked if I would help them out and give them a shout out uh, was crafter crafters crafty lovers um, just give me one second I'm just gonna bring this up uh, let's see here. craft lovers um, she just would like me to give her a shout out so if you are not subscribed to craft lovers uh go to her channel and give her uh please subscribe to her and i told her i'd give her a shout out so that's craft lovers um yeah i told her that um i would like it if she did a random act of kindness um in return for that shout out so that's awesome um, anyways, I hope that everybody is, uh, having a wonderful day. I hope that everybody's enjoying the weather and I hope that everybody is staying safe. I missed everybody and I am going to continue getting some more tutorials on the go and getting going with all these things there. Um, and I'll be back 
hopefully very, very soon. So I hope you all take care and um, I love you and send blessings and hugs to each and every one of you. Okay? And lots of prayers to everyone that needs it. God bless. Bye-bye.